So let's start. Basically, what is a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances or elements or compounds react with each other to form the product side compounds or displaced elements. Basically, we can also consider it as rearrangement of atoms or also breaking of bonds in the reactant side and formation of bonds in product side. Isn't it? So, we have a lot of type of reaction given by our chemist buddies. So, let's understand them one by one. So, there are basically displacement reaction, double displacement reaction, then we have reduction reaction, oxidation reaction, redox reaction, decomposition reaction, combination reaction and a lot more kept for you. So, we will start with single displacement reaction. But is, this is one of the most important reaction we have to study. These are you, we also have to learn the application of single displacement reaction. So, let's start. We will go a step by step consuming and learning the definition, general formula, how to keep it in mind, examples of it and how they can turn you given out of the examples too. So, let's start step by step. Let's understand the words first. Single means just one, not more than one. Displacement means it is displaced or thrown out of its position. And reaction means this all is done in a single reaction. So, let's start. So, highly reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its aqueous solution. So, let's form a definition out of these keywords highly reactive, displaced, less reactive, aqueous solution. So, let's consider a solution which or a reaction which has an element which is highly reactive and one which is less reactive and is combined with a non-metal or other element. So basically what definition comes in your mind? A reaction or a single displacement reaction is a reaction in which an highly reactive element displaces a less reactive element than it from its aqueous solution. So let's check out have we used all the keywords? Highly reactive? Yes. Displace? Yes. Less reactive, yes, and aqueous solution too. So, we have formed a beautiful definition out of some keywords. So, you can also remember it by the same. So, let's proceed from with general reaction. General reaction, a thought comes in mind. General means in usual, how you can resemble it. And reaction means in the form of reaction. So, let's consider an highly reactive element as A and a less reactive element com when compared to highly reactive element that is A, B the B and a non-metal B, C. So, how can a reaction form? When a highly reactive element will displace the less reactive element from its aqueous solution. So, we can consider as A plus B and B is with the C. So, A plus B C will give you out A C plus B. Means, let's consider A plus B C will give you A C plus B. So, A is highly reactive element which will displace a less reactive element that is B and combine with the element which, with which B was combined. Hamla? With which B was combined. So, what do we get is AC plus B means the highly reactive element plus the, the element or the compound with which B was there and then the B is displaced. So, uh, just take. Let's start with examples. Firstly, Fe plus CuSO4 gives out FeSO4 plus Cu. So, Fe means iron, ferrous, ferric, 
iron. So fellows, Cu is copper chrome. S of S is sulfur. O is oxygen. So Fe means iron plus CuSO4 that is copper sulfate will give you FeSO4 ferrous sulfate plus Cu means copper. So how will this reaction actually go on? So let's take or watch a video for a fully viewed visualization. This is copper sulfate solution. sulfate solution and allow copper to settle down on the iron rod and the solution form is iron sulfate. Now let's see the copper rod. This is the iron rod and copper has settled on it. So how was the video? Did you enjoy it? So what did you exactly observe? A, a solution which is more, uh, which is deep blue, that is copper sulfate solution. And when an iron rod is dipped into it, the copper fillings are displaced on the iron rod and the iron rod becomes just like this color, right? So, and what further did you observe? The dark blue tint of the copper sulfate solution is disappeared. Voila! How? This is because now the copper sulfate solution has not remained the copper sulfate solution. The copper is displaced and now it is ferrous sulfate solution. That is the reason behind it. So let's have some more examples. PB plus HCl gives PbCl2 plus H2. Lead plus hydrogen chloride gives lead chloride plus hydrogen. Now, we always know the hydrogen gas is liberated in the form of gaseous state. After that, Zn, zinc plus copper sulfate gives zinc sulfate plus copper. This is the same type of reaction, friends. Just like Fe plus CuSO4 one. Why? Because Zn is also greater in reactivity series than copper and iron also. After that, Pb plus CuCl2 gives PbCl2 plus Cu. Fe plus H2SO4 gives FeSO4 plus H2. Mg plus HCl gives MgCl plus H2. The lecture is being going boring. So let's have one more reaction video. Maybe of aluminium and copper chloride. So let's visit the video now. reaction is a reaction 
in which a highly reactive element displaces a re less reactive element from its aqueous solution. Then we saw the general reaction that is A plus B C gives you a, a C plus B that is A will displace B and combine with C and will give you A C plus B and keep in mind always a highly reactive element will displace less reactive element. If a less reactive element is at the position of highly reactive element the reaction won't appear or happen. So let's proceed to our next next goal to be achieved that is application of single displacement reaction. Now we have studied what happens exactly in this, these reactions but do we know what is the uh, use or uh, what is application of it in our life? Friends, when you travel, you go through the railway tracks, right? We see the railway tracks which are beautifully parallel to each other and are very strong made of high carbon steel or high carbon material. So what is done to weld two tracks together as they are very hard and can't be melted very easily. So thermite welding is a process done to uh, join or weld the railway tracks. Let's list out or read what is there exactly. Thermite welding, a mixture of aluminium and Fe2O3 react to produce molten iron used to join railway rails. Means a mixture or a reaction done by Al that is aluminium and FeO3 is, is used to weld the tracks of the railway. So let's have a look on the reaction. Al plus Fe2O3 gives you Al2O3 plus Fe. Now we have balanced the reaction and we get 2Al plus Fe2O3 gives you Al2 plus O3 plus 2Fe. Nice one, right? We were not knowing about it. Let's proceed to next. Extraction of metal chromium. Chromium. Chromium is metal in, in the periodic table as we know. Let's have a look on chromium. Chromium, chromium. See this. Chromium has an atomic number of 24 and has a mass of 51.996. It is a transition metal and it is formed in a solid state and it is naturally occurring element. So we have we have to take it out for the purpose of use. So let's see what is done exactly. Extraction of metal chromium. Heating mixture of Cr2O3 that is it is formed in naturally occurring state and it is fine finally divided finally divided by c that is carbon so the reaction be like carbon plus chromium and oxygen will give you chromium plus carbon dioxide now let's balance the reaction and we get three times carbon plus two times two times cr2o3 will give you four times cr plus 3 co2 wasn't that astonishing right we get a metal chromium out of the reaction between carbon. It was a different reaction in which a no, two non-metals were used. Keep it in mind, it can also happen with the non-metals. Next, we have CAD weld. Creating electric joints between Cu, that is copper and steel. The reaction be like 2Al plus 3CO will give you 3Cu plus Al2O3. So now we have understand a various applications of single displacement reaction. Friends, there are many more. Just go through internet or the sources where you can find it and we will get a lot more like acid ingestion, then we have steel making, we have extraction of metals and a lot more. Let's have a look on concept map about what we have learned so far. And next, and then we will go to our unlocking concept. First one, chemical reaction. We learned what is a chemical reaction. Then we go gone through its types, and then we learned one of most important reaction that is single displacement reaction. 
After that, we have gone through our various parts of definition, then general formula, then its examples, and together all we have studied their application. And after that, here is your the main part or the tricky part of this of this concept that is tricky examples on single displacement reaction. We will go through it and let's unlock this concept and learn the concept tricky examples on single displacement reaction. Oh, get excited! Now it's time for unlocking and secret that I that I am going to teach you. Wait, but before we need to understand how does exactly reaction goes on. We will start with an example Mg plus HCl that will give you Mg Cl2 plus H2 right now we have we know that highly reactive element will displace the less reactive element so let's displace the less reactive element so we have this metal this is metal we will consider hydrogen as metal as it gives the properties of both metal and non-metal and chlorine non-metal right so let's displace hydrogen that is less reactive than magnesium so we will keep the hydrogen aside and let's form a reaction between mg and cl that is magnesium and chloride so basically what will be formed is magnesium chloride but how that we need to understand by learning crisscross method for this so let's take get it as Mg and Cl. So let's write down its their ions. Mg we get 2 plus Cl 1 minus. Right. So what is our first step? We will write the reactants or the elements which are going to combine. After that their charges or valence or the valences in plus and minus which they accept. After that, we will negotiate or rub the charges and then we will simply do crisscross. And what do we get? Mg1 and Cl2 in two times. So, what will it lead to? Mg. Cl2. So we get it as MgCl2 and in the reaction we have displaced the hydrogen. So now hydrogen H and the reaction is complete. Wait, I saw something was wrong over here. Can you just identify what is wrong over here? I think this hydrogen. We have I have already told you that hydrogen occurs as bivalent atom in the nature. So we have to write it as H2. So we have learned how the reaction is actually formed. Now we can move towards the tricky part or the unlocking concept. Let's start our extremist concept tricky questions. So let's take a question. Cu plus ZnSO4 will give you question mark. So friends, please determine the product side. You can pause video if you want some time. Till that, I will be aside for few seconds. And if needed, you pause video, then I will continue. Okay friends, I am back. If you have done or pause video and then done, let's start. Let me predict what you have thought about this. I think you would have thought that the product side might be CuSO4 plus 
zinc right if you have thought such a thing friends you are 100% wrong why you are 100% wrong because zn and cu have a lot of difference in terms of reactivity series zn lies at the if you consider zn lies at the top cu is below it or much uh, bit there is a little gap between them so zn and cu so cu can't displace zn as zn is higher in reactivity series than cu so over here no reaction would take place as we have we know that zn is higher in reactivity series than cu so cu can't displace zn and can't form such a compound cuso4 plus zn okay buddies now let's move move on to our next example friends just keep an eye on example on the basis of reactivity series don't just predict about the tricky questions means if uh, i am taking out this type of concept so i will give the same type of reaction in between i can also trick you by giving a real single displacement reaction example okay so let's move towards our next one h2 plus h2 plus we will take uh, zn cl2 and just predict what can happen if you are thinking again the same you are absolutely right there will be no reaction same concept same knowledge same things over here friends same like this also zn is higher in reactivity series than hydrogen so let's move to our next example cu plus pbcl2 will give you you are right one more time here also no reaction so let's move to our next example and our next example will be Maybe you are right or wrong, but the correct answer is FeSO4 plus H2. Why that is because over here Fe is higher in reactivity series than hydrogen, so ferrous can displace hydrogen and combine with SO4. Okay, so our next example. we will take uh, our next example as zn plus cu so4 yes similarly zn so4 plus cu okay friends i hope you have understood a whole concept of single displacement reaction Let's have a quick recap what we have studied in all. So we have studied what is chemical reaction. We have studied its types. We have studied single displacement reaction. In that we have studied its definition, general formula. Then we have studied its examples. then its application then we have studied tricky examples and we have also find solutions over tricky examples okay we have covered a lot of part in this small session with the videos of reactions actually happening
so friends i hope you have written down all the concept which is very very important for your curricular activities and for your curricular marks so we will stop over here thank you my friends